Invincible begins with a man named Vince Papale, who gets out of a car into a field. At that time, he was late for a football game with his friends. He is a key player who can bring victory to their team. After finishing playing, he immediately went home. When Vince got home, his wife, Sharon, scolded him because she thought he could only play games, even though his job was only as an honorary teacher. She was fed up with their poor life. Hearing this, Vince promised that he would make his family's life even better. Hearing that, her anger subsided, and she thanked him. The next day at school, when Vince was about to enter the classroom to teach, he was surprised because there was already a female teacher teaching too. Not long after, a man who is the school's principal called Vince to come to his room. Arriving at his room, the principal told Vince that the school was experiencing an economic crisis, so they decided to fire him. In the evening, Vince goes to his male friend Max's bar to work with him. At that time, he tried negotiating with Max to increase his working hours so that his income increased because he no longer worked at school. While Vince was working and talking with his friends, news came on television that the Eagle football team was looking for new professional players and the selection process was open to the public. The Eagle football team is experiencing a bad performance of their players, so they must immediately get new players to improve their team's performance. Hearing that news, his friends supported Vince in participating in the selection. According to them, he has the talent to become a professional football athlete. After work, Vince went straight home. At that time, he was surprised by the condition of his empty house. He looked for his wife's whereabouts, then found a piece of paper that said he was a useless man and his wife wanted a divorce. Vince was annoyed and slammed the items in the room. He couldn't believe it when his wife left him along with his missing job. After his anger subsided, he sat leaning against a wall while contemplating his poor life, even he considered himself useless. The next night, Vince is late for work at Max's bar. Suddenly, there is a female employee named Janet who has replaced his position, but it turns out she is Max's niece. After that, his friends were still discussing football selection and asked him to join the selection. But Vince still doesn't want to participate in the selection because he is already 30 years old and feels too old to be a professional athlete. During a break, Vince and his male friend Tommy sat outside the bar. Tommy went back to talking about the football selection to him again and convinced him to join the selection. He believes that Vince will be accepted by the Eagles team and will be able to make the team victorious again. However, Vince just kept quiet and didn't say a word about it. After finishing work, Vince came to his father's house. Being forced and embarrassed, he borrows money from his father for $100 to pay the rent for his house. He also apologized to his father for being this old and still troubles his father and is useless. After that, his father discussed the Eagle team's election and persuaded Vince to take part in this election. He convinced Vince to consider the opportunity and become someone he could be proud of. The day of the selection has arrived, and it seems people are already busy wanting to participate in the Eagle team selection. When the selection began, it was seen that some of the participants could not play football at all. Not long after, a male trainer named Dick Vermeil saw a participant who had very great running test results, namely Vince. After several tests, Coach Dick decided to end today's test. When they got home from work, Vince, Max, and Janet had closed the bar and were ready to go home. Suddenly, several reporters approached them to interview Vince. At first, he refuses to be interviewed, but Max and Janet persuade him that Max's bar will become famous for being on television. Finally, Vince agreed to be interviewed because he felt he was indebted to Max. The next day, Vince trained for his physical by running from morning until night for the next few days. The day of the next exam arrived. Before training began, Coach Dick gathered the players on the field and explained that he would not distinguish between old players and new players. According to him, all players are the same, and he needs good proof from each of them. After that, the practice began. There, Vince showed his ability. Turned out that it annoyed his seniors because Coach Dick praised him. After practice, Vince was ushered into his room by the coach's assistant. Arriving at his room, he saw a shipment of goods from Janet containing the Team Eagles rival shirt, and he didn't know what it meant. On the other hand, the senior players changing clothes in the locker room found a piece of paper belonging to Vince that his wife had given him when he left the house. In the next practice, Vince competed with the senior players but lost. Unexpectedly, the senior player said something like what his wife said to him in the letter. Vince, who heard this, immediately got up and fought with his senior. The staff and coaches intervened between the two of them. In the evening, the coach's assistant gave the roster of players to Coach Dick, who would move on to the next exam stage. After that, Coach Dick ordered his assistants to go to the selected players' rooms individually to meet him. On the other hand, Vince feels anxious because he is afraid of not being selected. He just sitting quietly in his room while waiting for the results. Soon, 
There was a knock on the door, and someone said that Coach Dick wanted to see him. It turned out that Vince was selected and entered the next stage. At the same time, news about the Eagle team selection was broadcast on television again, so all of his friends knew about it. In the next practice, Vince ran with his senior, but he lost. Then he took off some of his clothes to make it easier for him to run quickly. After that, on the second test, he was indeed able to compete with his senior's running speed. After practice, Vince visits the bar to take Janet out to dinner. Shortly afterward, they went to eat at a roadside restaurant. Vince seemed to know that Janet had feelings for him. He told her that he wanted to focus on training so he could join the Eagle team because he thought this opportunity should not be missed. Afterward, Vince returned to the Eagle team dorm and accidentally met a big man named Denny Frank. Here, he explains how to know the opponent's movement by looking at three fingers when the game is about to start. The next day, practice started again. This time, Coach Dick needed only five people out of 40 people who took part in the selection. He also decided to select a one-on-one -on -one power struggle. The first test began between Vince against Germain, one of the senior Eagles. Vince did the way Denny taught him, by reading the opponent's movements using three fingers. And sure enough, by using that method, he can win easily. Long story short, after several exercises have been passed, the Eagle team has a preseason match. The Eagle team's preseason record has never won and suffered six defeats. On the other hand, Vince is waiting for his father in front of his house. When he got home, his father told Vince he had just been fired. Vince apologized for borrowing money from his father and always burdening him. His father said to make himself useful by proving that he can become a professional football team player and make their village proud. On the other hand, Coach Dick and other staff are voting to fill only one player slot. There are only two candidates, Samson, a senior Eagle team, and Vince. Most of the staff prefer Samson over Vince, but Coach Dick considers Vince more than him. After that, Coach Dick decided to go home and consult with his wife. She told him that he just needed to listen to his heart. Finally, he decides that he wants Vince because he is humble and unyielding. The next day, while Vince was in the locker room, the coach's assistant approached him and told him to meet with Coach Dick. There, they asked each other about the news. Not long after, Vince asked about the coach and his family's condition. Dick was touched because only Vince cared about how he was. Undeniably, Vince is the most mature player. He thought he would not be chosen by the team and could only surrender. However, Coach Dick allowed him to get into his team's plans. Soon afterward, when he was about to go home, Vince's car broke down and he immediately called Tommy. He told Tommy that he was accepted as a member of the Eagle team. Hearing that, Tommy congratulates and will treat him at Max's bar. Arriving there, his friends warmly greeted Vince, and his father also came to the bar to congratulate him. Long story short, the day of the inaugural regular league match between Eagle vs. Cowboys arrived. As seen in the dressing room, the players are getting ready with a state of anxiety and nervousness. Given the previous match, they were less than optimal and suffered many defeats. When the match took started, it was seen that the Eagle team was overwhelmed by the Cowboys team. Meanwhile, Vince, who still felt confused and played badly, was replaced by Coach Dick, who, in the end, the Eagle team lost badly to the Cowboys team. After that match, many people were disappointed with Vince's debut appearance in the league. At that time, he went to a football field to reflect on his life. Afterward, Vince went to Janet's house to express his heart to her because it turned out that all this time, he had harbored his feelings when he first met her. He also wanted to ask her to marry him. But Janet refused because she felt not ready for a serious relationship. Not long after, Vince decided to go to his friend's place who was sparring football. At that time, he only saw them from the car, but Joni saw his car and approached him. He invited Vince to play with them because they lost badly against their opponent. However, Vince refused. He was afraid he would be injured because, in one week, he would be competing in the league. When the rain pours, Vince suddenly gets out of his car and joins them. After the game was over, Vince's team won, making him excited again. One week later, the Giant team versus Eagle team match will start. And before the match, Coach Dick motivated them so they could bring glory to the Eagle team again. Not long after, the match began. In the first minute, Vince succeeded in overthrowing an opposing player in the 15 areas. The match became fierce with a balanced provisional score. Unfortunately, 20 minutes are left for the match. The Eagle team, who continue to be cornered in the defense area, looks like they are looking for space until they can touch the starting point. The ball was held by the Eagle team. And when they were about to get ready to attack back, Vince remembered Denny's words, who taught him how to read the opponent's movements by looking at his opponent's fingers. Suddenly, he shouted at his friends to follow his instructions. And surprisingly, it turned out that his tactics worked and made the Eagle team win. Seeing that, the whole stadium rumbled over the victory.
After that game, Vince's name began to be known in football. He also strengthened the Eagle team for three very special seasons, and Coach Dick led the Eagle team to win Super Bowl 15. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, don't listen to other people's bad judgment of you. All you need to do is do everything as well as possible.